guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 9 of Wandering Witch. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <sighs> I should've got water. I'm gonna get it after. So pretty. Up. Oh, yay! <laughs> People are probably gonna die in this episode. Oh, God. This might be my most favorite episode, even though we're only minutes into it. Mm. Poor baby. The leaves are pretty, though. Poor baby, I'm sorry. Oh damn, we we're not even getting an opening this week. We just start in the uh, okay. Hmm, deep sorrow from the past. A oh, deep sorrow from the past. Oh, you ain't got no money. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, any <laughs> any guy girl would want to. love the fact that she wants to make conversation even though she got crumbs on her face. <laughs> oh, okay, well, that's not bad. I thought she would say like 24, but like, oh shit. Mm -hmm. No! Um, okay, hold up. No, 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 no. Right then and there. What exactly is the job? Well, I mean, since this episode is going to be explicit, I mean, <laughs> people going to be dying a lot. Yep, because it's a little weird. You're automatically giving her the money. No. Mm. Well, that's good. Oh. Oh, and that's crazy, yeah. Okay. Oh. Do you want to really know why she did it? Oh. Hmm. 
So, do you want to get like a Ouija board and talk to her? Oh. Bitch, what? Oh. Okay, Estelle. Yeah. You want to go back in time? What? <laughs> okay, so you want to prevent her from becoming a murderer and you killing her. Okay. But, but that's impossible. You can't do that. You're going to ruin the space-time continuum or something. You don't know that, though. Let's mm, go. Okay. I mean, this is hella dangerous, but because you want to do it. Do you need to get blood? A lot, probably. So how are you going to be able to protect yourself? Okay. Hmm? Oh, they're pretty, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and plus, let's just save Selena. You don't want her to currently still be dead. You want to be with her every day. Because something also tells me, Estelle, not only is, like, the, her best friend, I feel like she also loves her.
witches. Now, I feel like right now, we're going to get a lot darker into this episode. Mm. Honestly, I'm excited. Yeah, because everything kind of looks the same. But there's some things that are different. Yeah. An uh, hour. And so you couldn't do like I mean two hours. Y'all y'all couldn't wait. <sighs> There's not much you can do in an hour though. Wouldn't it be weird that this robber is Selena, maybe? That that's just a guess. Who knows? But <laughs> you know it'd be really funny if it was Estelle. That'd be fucked up. Yeah, but this is why you don't mess with time. I mean, come on, we all know that. What's wrong? Oh, there she is. Oh. My thing is, okay, she's like, what, maybe under 10? Why is this little girl walking around by herself? <clears throat> Poor baby. But then, hold on, what if Selena comes home early? I don't know, something's a little fishy about this. See? Oh, 
possible. The robber, possibly. Is that just blood that's spewed? And there's more blood again. That Estelle. Oh! Oh. Of course, Selena was the robber. Uh, no! Go, you dead in the future. But you just killed your best friend. Uh-huh. It's something you like to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta take it off. But you did. Oh! 
Oh, damn. That's pretty though. She's dying, isn't she? Mm. Of course, how can you take the money after that? Killed her best friend. Honestly, yeah. This has to probably be now my favorite episode. Really, really dark. But sad at the same time. Like, oof. The, I mean, oh! Just the fact is that Estelle was thinking that, you know, her best friend was going to be fine. But then learning the truth that it was her, her best friend that killed her own parents. Then after that, killed her uncle because of the fact that she was getting abused by not only her parents, but also her uncle. And that, yes, she killed her best friend, not once, but twice. Like, that's gotta hurt. And I was assuming that because of the fact is Estelle used so much of her magic, maybe even also her blood, that she just died after uh, 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 Elena just ran off and stuff. I don't know. But, you're like, yeah, I get the point and the reason of why she didn't take the money. It wouldn't have been fair after that. This episode honestly really reminded me of the one episode of the woman called Fujiko Mine with the um, lady who hired Fujiko to do that job and how it kind of, in the end, she just wanted to see the whole story to the end and that resulted in the lady's death in the show. But, oh... This was so much better. I mean, honestly, it, it really is a really graphic, sad story. But like, oh, is this in one of the novels? Because damn, I want to read it. But I just, whoo, God. <laughs> oh, I didn't think that, like, I think what the, this, this past week, I think I was on Twitter and they were saying that, um, I think the director of this show was talking about this episode and saying that it's going to be really, really dark. I think in, they were worried about how it was going to be portrayed to the audience, of course, because this is a show that you would think the target demographic is early teens to someone my age and stuff. So I, I don't know if I would have a little kid watch this episode, of course, because of that warning and we knew that there was going to be a lot of gore and everything and blood um but damn this yeah by far this is the darkest episode i mean it to me the other two episodes that have had dark moments that was just child's play dealing with a death and then going back in time and trying to save your best friend and then finding out that the person that your best friend is that person who was supposedly the robber and killing her parents. Like, oh, oh my God. I, I just, one thing I do kind of wish is that um we got to see it 
and Estelle's POV. Not only like going back and forth between Elena's and Estelle's. Like how when Elena was waiting at the house for the robber to show up and then, you know, her ring goes off and she in the end slowly walks towards to where Estelle is. I wish we got to see like Estelle when she found out that the robber was Selena. That would have been maybe a little bit better. I mean, but still, this was a damn good episode, honestly. If like if this episode is based off of one of the chapters or stories in this entire light novel series, I, I really want to know which one it is because as someone who likes horror gore esque, this was a really good episode. Like the best, really. But I mean, oh god. I can't imagine showing this to anybody. I can't even I don't know. I mean, would I show this episode to my mom? I, I think I probably would. I cause it was an interesting one. I think she'd probably be like, what the hell is this? But I would have to really show her episodes one through eight first for her to kind of be like, okay, get into the show and then watch this dark episode because this it's just dark. But honestly, like, that was a really, really good episode. Really powerful emotional raw episode. Just feeling Estelle's emotions and seeing her just slowly kill her best friend again, like, that just broke my heart. And that Selena was so corrupted and into her murdering ways that she just didn't give a shit anymore. And how she was just like, she kept saying ow, but she was still like happy about it. I mean, mm, that's just fucking crazy. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode nine of Wandering Witch. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 10. Bye, guys.